Hammond is absolutely nuts. I've been playing a lot of him lately and I have one thing to say. He is the new dive. Today, I'm going to be telling you the top five reasons you need to learn this beast of a tank, even if you're a DPS or support main. My name is Nathan and welcome to Blizzard Guides. Before we get into this video, I just want to give a quick apology for the staggered videos lately. I've been finishing up my last class of high school and I've just been getting busy with preparations for college. It'll be a bit better in the future, I'm taking a gap year, but for now, you'll have to bear with me if I miss an upload. But with that out of the way, let's get right into this video. At number 5, this tank is just hilariously good. Winston and D.Va have been the kings of mobility so long, but now you have another option for high burst dives. Winston and D.Va are both strong because they can rely on each other, but Hammond is good because he can rely on himself. He has a shield that will give him up to 700 extra HP burst. With his grapple on a 5 second cooldown, he can also disengage and deal tons of rapid damage in bursty combos. He's basically the dive hero for solo queue, so if you want to play him in tandem with other dive tanks and other dive heroes, he'll be able to quickly finish off enemies similar to how tracers will rapidly swap from target to target. His rapid movement coupled with his high HP shield buffs let him get into the fight deep and finish a target off quickly and then just fly away while also dealing damage getting there and back. At number 4, if you play a lot of DPS but you've been looking for a tank to play, this is the guy for you. If you have good mechanics, you have a really high burst ability and a really strong escape. Despite the fact that the hook and roll take some time to get down in the first place and using it not only to escape but deal quick bursts of damage takes a lot more skill, if high mechanical skill heroes are your kind of thing, this is a really really strong way for you to maximize your ability as a tank. It doesn't require strictly good aim, it's more about like how Doomfist is highly mechanical. He doesn't require a lot of aim but still requires good intuition and knowledge of the map and movement in the game. If you're actually in there and dealing damage, he does require somewhat of good tracking but his fast speed hit and burst from pile driver allow you to get a quick burst of up to 150 damage which means that the four body shots and a melee that you do afterwards will kill the enemy if they don't get healed if you focus on learning those combos with that hook the tracking will not be quite as necessary overall though he's just incredibly strong for those of you that are already very mechanically talented he'll be a very strong addition to your kit if you're a dps player looking for a tank to learn at number 3, his ultimate is just the best area of denial ability, hands down. If you're playing King of the Hill, Payload, or Assault, being able to completely deny the point with an ability that lasts for 20 seconds is just crazy. If you're looking to contest point, him it is also really going to work out well for stalling. His shields, fast moving hook, and his really quick ult charge will allow him to contest and clutch points for your team like none other. I've personally been learning a lot of Doomfist lately, not for the purpose of actually playing him regularly, but just to have a hero to switch to stall a fight out. Doofus is a really strong stall hero because his quick burst damage abilities allow him to quickly pick up a kill and then provide him with hundreds of health points and shields. His ult also charges fairly quickly so if you need it you can ult and get an escape really quickly. In a similar vein, Hammond can quickly burst, stall with lots of shields, and build ult to deny the point for a long time. So not only does Hammond fit strongly into the dive category, we'll also be seeing him used a lot for stall, so even if you don't want to play him all of the time, learning him for the purpose of stall techniques is a really good way to use this hero. And at number 2, he's really just going to be a strong counter to dive. Hammond is a weird one, he's going to be effective on dive and also against dive. When you run dive, you rely on the fact that you have a lot of mobility and that your enemy does not. If you run Hammond, you're going to be able to counter dive the enemy really well by perching on the high ground and then pile driving whenever the enemy dives in. This will make them go out of their bubble that they're using and put them into an uncomfortable situation because they'll be thrown into the air. His ability to quickly boop enemies away while also dealing damage is a really strong suit and then also being able to follow up is really strong as well. He'll feel the role that Lucio used to fill whenever Anna was very prevalent in the meta, booping the dive away. This quick movement is going to be strong if you've learned how to master the mechanically demanding hook. And with the resurgence of dive because of the Brigida nerfs, you'll also become more reliant on the high health pool comps, backed with the strong burst of Anna's healing. Hammond is such a good option for this. If a Hammond goes into the fight, takes 400 damage, and then bails, he'll be able to feed so much ult charge to his healers that they likely will have ult every fight. This is going to be a staple of his playstyle, diving in, taking damage, using shields, and then disengaging. This shield acts as a quick burst of up to 700 HP, but more typically 300 HP to allow him 
him a short time frame to get his hook up and then quickly get him out of the fight. This counter dive and quick movement is really going to show up a lot and will be a staple of his kit and will prove very useful to counter dive comps if you can't run something that will counter it directly like Orisa or Hog. And finally, at number one, Hammond is just plain fun. Seriously, he's probably one of my favorite heroes to play right now, so I seriously suggest that you just learn him for fun. There's nothing like flying around a map like a golf ball bouncing up and picking up kills as you go. I suggest that you go into a custom lobby with no cooldowns and swing around the maps until you pick up his hook really well. Once you feel really comfortable with that and can get where you want to with one hook use, head over and play some FFA. If you play it safe and you rotate around health packs, you'll have an absolute blast and you'll really learn to appreciate this hero a ton. Not only is he very mechanically demanding as a tank, he's just very intuitive and relies on the intuition of the physical world that you've already developed. Overall, he's just really enjoyable, so I do really suggest that you try him out for a while and put him into your hero rotation. It takes a bit to get comfortable, but once you do, you'll love playing him and you will really want to. Anyway, I hope I've convinced you to pick up Hammond and play him a bit more. He's been so much fun to play lately, so I just wanted to share some of the advantages of playing this hero. If this video was enjoyable or you learned something new, drop a like so that I can keep making more videos like this one. And if you like what's going on on this channel, seriously, just get subscribed so that you can see more of this content I've been making for you all. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Have a nice day. My name is Nathan, and this was Blizzard Guides.